slash numbers right now. All right, everyone. Welcome back to Lake City Variety, episode 10. That's right. Your number one podcast of uh, resurrected people. That's yeah, right. Oh, we, we found we've had additions all week. Uh, for the part of Elliot, our writers have been going crazy trying to write around mm. him not being here and just trying to get his character on the show. Uh, but we found someone. Um, welcome back, Elliot. Yeah, it's uh, it's really a pleasure to be back. And um, Dude, we hired you because you could do the voice. Just do the voice. Okay, I guess. <laughs> it's just, uh, you know, I don't really understand why I have to have to play this character. It's just like, I, you know, we... We have a fun time already. Why what do you can't mean I we? Just be you myself? are brand new. You're no, you barely okay. made it through. You're on probationary pay. Yeah, but I mean, it was like a fun interview, wasn't? Wasn't it? <sighs> yeah, it was fine. It was yeah, pretty sweet. Yeah, you might get benefits someday. Yeah, you might actually get paid. Mm. <laughs> That's good to know. Yeah, That's good to see that at least that I had to pay uh, the in, last in actor for the last month. Well, I mean, he's dead, but I did have to pay yeah. his family. And in tradition yeah. of That's right. of this position. Uh, I'm actually also unemployed. Like my, like my. You wait. You you don't have a job anymore. Yeah, I'm I'm also unemployed. Like my nice. Like my former. I don't even know what to call him at this point. Well, you know, like when they Elliot, invent, an adventure in, adventures in Odyssey where they had like three John Avery Whitakers because they always cast an old man who died halfway through. Yeah, you're just like the second. Well, you're the second Elliot. We can neither confirm nor deny what happened to. I didn't the last say he's actor. dead. I'm just saying he's the new one. What do you What do you mean he's dead? He's not dead. We can neither. Well, well, well why do you keep actually? What do you mean? Well, sorry. What happened to the can, last guy to play this character? Can we, <laughs> listen, can we bleep that out? Stick to I didn't the script mean to say that he didn't you'll die. Be fine. Oh, okay, I meant to say that I can't confirm or deny allegations. Yeah, there's a. Are there allegations? There. Can you confirm or deny if there are allegations? I could. My lawyer our lawyers has tell told you, me to say. Our <laughs> lawyers are knocking at the window right now, the studio, and they are telling you to stop. There is currently someone holding a cardboard. There is uh, currently someone holding a gun to Levi's head. Don't <laughs> say anything else about. Shut up! Just stop reading the. Th- just stop reading the sign. I don't know what the sign is about yet. You have to read out loud because you don't have an internal dialogue or yeah. an internal monologue. It's kind of tough. My brother had the same thing. Does he really? I had a boss that had the same thing. Yeah, dude, that's hilarious. yeah. Um, and so let's get into that. He, uh, so I started a position when I was down in French City, and ah. uh, it was like I had worked my way up in this company for a little bit, and uh, I started with this new boss who's new to the company, and his first words to me were like, "Hey, I'm so and so. We're gonna be sharing an office, so don't be alarmed if I just start saying things. Most of the time, it won't be to you." Unless I'm looking directly at you and saying your name or something else that you know about. Pretty normal stuff. Yeah. And then it took me like two or three months to fi- like kind of go through like, what's going on with this dude? Because he would be sitting at his computer and then he'd just be whispering to himself mm-hmm. the whole time. And like the first week, it's like, oh, hey, Steve, you talking to me? He's like, no, 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 I'm talking to you. And Steve is a made up name. Uh just like Bruno is a made-up name. Go Steve. Yeah, go Steve. Go Bruno. Go Bruno. Nobody's actually named Bruno. No though. one's actually named Bruno. Yeah, so Bruno, Bruno is just... Stop that. We can't quote that. We're going to get sued. We just got a cease and desist from Disney right now. Jeez. <laughs> that was fast. That was fast. Wait a second. They I see another... Prepared. Don't quote... <laughs> Our lawyer is going well, nuts. Well, no. On stop. Okay, what anyway. actually happened... Do you, you guys remember uh, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse? What about I'm it? asking the audience, of course. <laughs> um, no, because I've never There's it. the Miska Muska Mouse Catool guy that's shaped like a Mickey yeah. Mouse head, and it flies in and provides like useful tools and assistance to the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse Club when they need useful tools and assistance. That actually just flew through into our recording studio the and Mouse gave us a, a cease and desist. Oh, damn. Wow, that's actually pretty quick. <laughs> yeah. That was... Uh yeah, the mouse can serve. Am I right? Wow, he's real good at it too. Um, he got real mad when I started talking about Marvel stuff. Anyway, uh, so this guy, this guy, R- Roberto Stephen the Third. Um, That's right. He uh, 
I, it took me like two or three months to just figure out. And then I, he would like read a book because we were hit at like a real slow patch beginning of COVID. It's like we're both alternating weeks. And then like our our boss looked at our department and said, yeah, you guys. So like everyone at the at the company that I worked at was put on alternate weeks. Yep. And so as you do, you do like, oh, your boss is working this week and you're at home and then you're at work next week and your boss is gone and like that kind of deal. And then if you needed to, like, talk to each other about anything, you could, like, log, like, at-home hours, like, up to, like, five hours a day, which you, sure. no one really ever did because, it, like, most of the stuff is at the location. Um, anyway, he's reading a book in the office, in our shared office, and he's reading the book out loud to himself. And then I'm just, do you just not have an internal monologue? He's like, no, I, like, like do you have the voice that, in your head when you read that the voice tells you in your head what you're reading or like do you, do you can you think to yourself and not in like a mean way but he's just like yeah no i, I just don't have that i didn't know how to tell you because i mean it's like weird to say that if you no one ever knew what you're talking about but i'm glad you figured it out <laughs> <laughs> it's like what <laughs> so this guy the whole time he just doesn't have an internal monologue which is like think out loud for a second every thought think every thought you've ever had out loud now that's Just, really dangerous. I wish I could breathe, but I can't breathe into the microphone. Yeah. You can move the microphone from your face. I know, but I want to say stuff sometimes. <laughs> this is really hard. It's Those are all the thoughts going through my head right now. So I'm, anyway, I'm Elliot 2 or Boogaloo. Uh, yep. What's with that? Uh, I thought you had another job. That we, this was going to be your secondary employment. What happened? Oh, no. Um, well, outside of the bit, I, I, I still... Am, am going to have a job. Oh, okay. But committing to the bit of me taking over the role of the of the guy before me, yeah. um, he quit his job so that he could dedicate his life to the podcast, and I'm doing the same thing. Mm-hmm. Brother. Yeah. Well, the last guy that got a job outside of the bit, uh, you know what happened to him. Or maybe you don't. That's kind of... What do you mean? We cannot confirm or deny any allegations. You keep saying that. Chicago Police Department, <laughs> please stop <laughs> investigating... We're just. We um, need to stop, Michael. What does CPD I'm have to, to do you. with this? Talking to you, Michael. Anyway, uh, we uh, other news. We got some more listeners, which is always good. Hey, good job. Um, always, to always fun to see them branching good out job. into places, Having especially in my hometown. Very, which nice. is great. <laughs> I don't know who's listening there, mm. but that's fun. Uh, <laughs> are are you you're just being like, I don't know if I'm concerned or not okay great because <laughs> well. I don't know who it is uh, that's listening because how do you know that they're listening then uh, because I have access to the analytics fun fact so you can like see where oh I can see everything it, that's nice. if you did, Google's creepy dude it's not even Google <laughs> that's the best part <laughs> you can turn <laughs> off your Google data sharing and everything like that it does not matter if you turn this episode on once I know not exactly nice. where you are, mm. but like maybe, I know what town you're in. I know what cell towers you're hitting off of. Maybe you shouldn't tell people that. No, I'm not telling you that. That's actually false. I have, I can get what country you're in. That's about it. Nice. Yeah. I was on. Um, I had a very slightly extravagant weekend that we can talk about. It was actually really fun. Actually, I can get. If nice. I, I can get what state you're in if your country has states. I was on Snap Maps. Yeah. The other day for the first time. It was so, like, I was both, like, I was, like, creepily drawn to it. I could see oh, the like location where your friends are? of my friends. Isn't that terrifying? It was, like, both kind of sick and also, like, deeply disturbed me at the same time. Yeah, uh, Snap Map is great, especially when you forget that you're on Snap Map, like your location is. Uh-huh. And uh, yep. you just, like... Oh, yeah, there's that. And then you get a text like this. Dang, Paul. Why is your Bitmoji so hot? That's just how I am regularly. <laughs> <laughs> and so then you'll get a text like this that's like, oh, hey, that's one of my friends from an unnamed French city. Oh, yeah? Who apparently lives less than a block, like the same distance that Elliot lives from me. Oh, dang. Wait, like The right other now? direction. Yeah, like right, not right now. I didn't get it. I got it like a couple days ago. But it's like... Okay. Uh. That's like small world vibes. And then you're like, oh, wow, look at all these people that I know. Mm-hmm. Wow, look at 
all these people that I know. Oh, actually, and these look are look at all... exactly where they are in the world right now. That's looks, right. And looks... then you can find So them. that's where he lives. That's fun. Yeah. See, that's terrifying because now I know where one of my friends lives because he and his wife moved. Well, um, you know what they say. Well, she's at the bar. <laughs> um, that's where she moved. No, she's at work. Never mind. That's where she... Nope, she's at work. All right, everybody. Welcome to episode two of us looking at our phone and right. trying to make commentary. Listen, we all made Twitters except for Elliot, who was fired. Not really. He was ki- murdered, nope. killed, fucking... We what? what? <laughs> Cannot confirm what? or deny any allegations... As to what happened to previous Elliot. I think doctor. our lawyer just blew his brains out. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> what's that That's red... That's cr- kind of rough. What's that red <laughs> That's crap so- on the window of our studio? <laughs> oh, oh probably talking about blowing your brains out. The other- we were, I was working at a detail shop. Never be a detailer, by the way. Um, it sucks. I did. I mean, I personally didn't like it. It's. It's not... It's not great, not ideal. But it's just cleaning cars, right? It's cleaning car. It's like deep cleaning cars. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then like you know, waxing, buffing, and like you know, making cars look fantastic. Which, if you're really into making cars look good, that's fine. If you're just like driving them, don't do it. Um, yeah, because you can do so many other things with just driving cars. Like I drive cars all the time. I didn't think there was a job like that where I could just drive cars every day and drive like you know, like any yeah. like all sorts of crap, anything. Um. And it's just part of my job. I get paid to just drive around. Yeah, and like sometimes it's just like, oh, do this, and it's like, all right, whatever. Yeah. Um. But one guy, we were the kind of shop where we worked for a dealership, and we did most of our cars for the dealership. But then we would also have like two or two to three customer cars a day. And um, one this was before my time there. This was the the grossest story I've ever sto- was ever told. Excuse me. He came in, and the, the ceiling, the headliner of this car, was just destroyed. Absolutely gross. Just, like, caked in garbage. You know, the rest of the car, not so bad, but, it, like, you know, just the headliner was garbage. And so this guy, you know, he comes in, and, you know, we charge him an extra 100 bucks for the extra dirty fee for, you know, extracting the headliner, making it look fantastic. And we got it, like, completely clean. Uh, the guy spent... The guy, the detailer, spent like ten hours on this car, which most most detailers work like four tens, so like four ten hour days. Yeah. So he spent all day on this car, so he made no money that day because he was cleaning this car. Dang. Um, because normally detailers can get like two cars done a day, and they'll actually do pretty well for themselves, so they can get two done a day. But yeah. this guy, even with extra dirty fee, this thing was not gonna make this guy money today. And so he brings it up, and the brother. That, you know, this guy comes and picks it up and he goes, holy cow, man. I didn't think you'd be able to clean that out. My brother blew his brains out in this thing. Oh, my God. Which, if we had known that's what it was, we would have just said no. Because mm. yeah. we'll just decline that because it's a biohazard and we won't touch it. Nah, this guy drove his brother's. Co- he drove it there, by the way. So he's got his oh brother's brains gosh. above his head while he's driving in asking to get it cleaned. And then he just he knows what it is, and he doesn't tell anyone. And then he just casually drops it after after after, after this dude spent like ten drop. hours working. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's okay. That's unacceptable. That's not. Never do that. that that's like not bring him good. to a small claims court and get an extra, you know. Oh, yeah. Or like, like sue him. Like sue the crap out because of him. Because we're not rated to do biohazard stuff. And that like, guy risked his Our, life our suggestion well. for if you bring in like a car that's just like filled with blood is there's a guy selling flamethrowers down in, you know, whatever town. Mm-hmm. And go buy one of those or rent one. Just burn and it out. Burn the car. <laughs> or like. <laughs> replace the carpet or the headliner yeah yeah because we're like oh maybe this guy was just like a sp- you know maybe you spit or something like that and he just would spit up or like just trying to justify it in any sort of way because it's like there's no way it could be like anything terrible yeah and it, like it didn't smell terrible it just was bad because it you know, apparently had been like bleached or something like that or someone had tried mm-hmm. to clean it up and he just couldn't so he took yeah. it in for detailing which to get your car detailed it's like 200 bucks 
So this guy got his brother's brain scraped out of the top of a car for 300 bucks. That's a sentence that you should You should be never able be to able say. to say and have it be true. To be fair, that's kind of a bargain. That is a, that's a <laughs> steal of a deal. You're correct about that. Ah, uh, well, yeah, dude, I'm losing my mind over how good of a price that is. <laughs> that's <laughs> dude, you know who else lost his mind over how good of a price that is? Dude's brother. My lawyers told me I couldn't say his <laughs> name <laughs> anymore. Our lawyers over there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness! Um, have you guys had? A, have you guys had a chance to? Sorry, oh, let me just get back. I didn't back realize in you're 13 again. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just the worst. <laughs> just a worse version of the movie. 17 again. <laughs> 13 again. It still star. It still stars Zac Efron playing a 13 year old. <laughs> 13. No, he's like a Even 30 year old. And he man. looks. Yeah, yeah. And at the time he was 25, so he look, yeah. he's playing a 13 year old. You know, it's like when uh when they had uh, Tobey Maguire. Play Spider Man, yeah. Who was in high school? Hey, you know, when he I was, will who, when he was thirty one, McGuire with my <laughs> life. He's a great. Spider-Man. He's the few, best Peter Parker. A few other, don't add me. A few other Elliots have defended something with their life too. Yeah, <laughs> probably their life. <laughs> they all lost. What do you mean a few other? How many more of there has has there been? You know how we told you that you're the second one? Yeah, we lied. Oh man. <laughs> Oh brother! But they're not dead because I cannot confirm. Because you can't prove it. <laughs> they're not dead because you can't prove it. Excuse me. Okay. Once again, I will concede that yeah, he did look a little old for a high schooler. But that's how the every students si- that's on how the field trip. Every single the actors who movie. played the students on the field trip were older than the teacher who is leading the field trip. That's. That's how every single movie in 2004 or whenever that came no, out. No, just every was Sam like. Raimi movie. Okay, yeah, probably that too. Um, but then when they aged him up for the second movie, Spider-Man 2, arguably the best Spider-Man movie of all time. It's it's okay. It's pretty good. I've not seen it. I am looking forward to the new Tom Holland Spider-Man movie. The No No Way Home. Far, no, way no Way Home. No Way Home. Uh, yeah. The that's, one that had that seems the, the correct Doc Ock in it. Oh, yeah. Uh, also, the skeleton I bombs are back. I the skeleton pumpkin bombs are back. That. I screamed when I saw Doc Ock. The amount of joy I had. Is that other- how far my jeans went up when I when I said <laughs> when I saw the skeleton pumpkin bomb again. It was fantastic seeing that thing again. Because the that Doc Ock actor plays Doc Ock. Doc Ock. And, and other off. stuff. In Does, Sp- isn't Spider-Man. He the video Spider-Man. Yeah. Spider-Man 2. Isn't yeah. he, doesn't he also play him in the video game? No, he doesn't because that's a different... The Spider-Man for PS4. You ever play that uh, game? Oh. No, I haven't actually. Actually, that game's pretty I know fun. it's good. Uh, I, if if you want to play it, you just hang out I here. I thought you were talking Brother. about like, the old... That's uh, the bonus the old, like, episode, episode of Spider-Man we're gonna game. Be, yeah. the one that bonus Spider-Man episode is going to be 35 hours long if you don't die. I mean, we can just play for 30 minutes, like the intro. <laughs> the intro? Yeah, the intro is longer than 30 minutes. Well, we can just play half the intro. I don't even know if I have it downloaded. I mean, I have two and a half terabytes of games downloaded on my PlayStation. Anyways. So it might be on there. But uh, for some reason, uh, I was playing. I was, I've was. i been on a Star Wars kick, as you know, listeners, at, from last week. And I was going to ask you guys, did you? So I know Levi texted you, Elliot, ask, and, and Bruno. Fake names only. Um, That's right. About the uh, Star Wars campaign. Yep. I have not had time to look at it yet. And You're a turd. Well, no. I've been looking at the, the chats and everything and trying to... I like looked at the dice. I'm lost. Uh, the dice will be coming in the mail tomorrow. Sick. Okay. Pop. I bought the last set of dice for that game, like loose... Because otherwise you have to get them like used or whatever, which I can't even find them used. I bought the last set of loose dice, like outside of like the beginner set, because you can't even get them bundled with the core rule book. You have to get by the beginner set, which is like a third of the core rule book, and then three pre-made character sheets, and then the dice. But they used to sell them alone, and I remember that because I always wanted to get them because I was like, no one ever wants to play this game with me. It sounds really last complex. set of dice in this country. 
and I had to. It's a bit spooky. Di- I have them. I had them mailed from San Jose, California, from a tiny game store. For this, yeah, <laughs> I had them. I had them on warehouse alert because they had lost their last one of the stock. Wow! And I e- I called them down there because I you know they said they had one in stock, and then I got an email saying we don't we don't have it, and it's like it must be gone. And then I called the like the uh, admin office down there, and I was like, "Listen, I need these. I need these right now." <laughs> and then she said, "I will have someone on that, sir, and I will send you an email as soon as we find them, or if we get them back in stock. Otherwise, uh, I can cancel your order if we don't find anything because I don't know when we're going to go back in stock again. Yeah, if ever." I got an email two days later. We found them. They fell underneath a shelf. Nice. They are currently oh. being mailed as we speak. <laughs> okay, I guess that's a big move, right? I there. guess I have to read the rule book then. Yeah, I mean uh, they're fifteen dollars, so it's not too bad. Yeah. Okay, but it is the last set in this country. Yeah, <laughs> I will at least at like a game store that has internet, and because like some of them, you know, they're just tiny little game stores. Yeah. And I'm certain if I had gone to French City, because when I was, last year when I was living in French City, I found those dice everywhere, like every game store I went to. And yeah, so I'm wondering what the shift was where these things can no longer be found. Because it's not like the game is unsupported anymore. Mm-hmm. They released a new adventure module for it six months ago. Okay. So it's not like, oh, it's the last one. We're never doing it. Like, you know, if, if, if Wizards of the Coast was going to change the dice that's used for D&D, it does not mean that people would stop making the dice people use for other D&D games. Like if the dice yeah, for Dungeons & Dragons won... Like regular Dungeons and Dragons was different from 5e or 3.5 or uh, advanced Dungeons and Dragons. I'm a huge nerd. Let me just list all of them. Four and 4.1. <laughs> um, they would still be making those dice. So I don't know what this company's up to where they only bundle the dice with like not even the, the core rule book. Yeah. With like the beginner's garbage set. It's like if the only way you could find D&D dice was if you bought the Lost Minds of Fendelver Beginner's Adventure book. And then in order for each of your players to have dice, you'd each have to buy the Lost Minds of Fendelver book because they only have one set of dice on them. And it's $29. I mean... Yeah, it's not... We should do it, honestly. Each of us spend $29 on the Lost Minds of Fendelver was that the one that uh, Bruno ran That's for us? That's one that Bruno ran for us. Yeah, yeah we really destroyed that campaign. <laughs> well, I think I was sick for a lot of... I was really sick one week for that. Yeah. And then I like... Yeah, you were out of it. It was crazy. Yeah, I, I remember sitting... I, I had... I, I was... It was the week before I was going to go to Florida. Yeah. And I was down doing early Christmas with... At, at that time, my girlfriend, who was now my wife, with her family... And then, like, I edited, I used to edit a different podcast for some friends. Um, they oh. haven't asked, had, they, they, they haven't recorded anything since, but I've, I used, I have edited for them a few times. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, just to flex my, my prowess, I actually do yeah. edit instead of just this garbage where I just release whatever. A lot of editing prowess, you know? Yeah. But, like, I used to just straight up edit everything where I'd get handed, like, three hours of audio and then turn it into, like, a 45 minute. Pr- like fluent show so yeah well we're doing pretty good right now we're doing pretty good right now um they also sucked at talking to the microphone and then having pauses like art yeah they just do that but for longer than that well that was a dramatic pause for effect yeah that was a pause for uh demonstration a demonstrate as demonstrate uh, in um in public speaking you can use silence as a way to both get the attention and draw your audience in. I like to start my speeches with silence when I do public speaking speeches. Interesting. Yeah. And then you just don't yeah. start talking. And then I just don't start talking. <laughs> and then I just accept the D minus. Cuz I turn in the written copy of my speech and get a D minus instead nice. of an F. Or play. I Big hope that moves. no one has taken American Sign Language. <laughs> and you just and start <laughs> signing the whole time? <laughs> I, just I learned a cookie <laughs> this weekend. Was I learned like- airplane. 
And I learned something else that I don't remember. What's with What's with Lake City University and uh, American Sign Language? Uh, it's just like people kind of like get into it, and they just like it. Like it's apparently a good program, and it it's it better pairs, than the physics department. Oh, like you say that again. as a minor, sign language actually All right. pairs well. History with, major. Uh, guys, physics is the reason that my <laughs> civil engineering career died. <laughs> I had a fifty, like a fifty-four percent in that class. That's better than what I had. And I had a, I had a C plus. That was my best grade of the entire semester, <laughs> and I hated it. <laughs> you just didn't like. You took chemistry, didn't you? No, you took calculus with me. Yeah, I was in where I we just calc. I, I did chemistry. I think we were in the same chemistry out. class. We just didn't know each other. That yeah. Well, no, yeah. I was because I was in chemistry for majors. So you yeah. were just in regular. Oh, class. okay, yeah. yeah. I, I, re- I was in chemistry Gen with. Chem- Boo. Boo. Yeah. Uh, Listen, that sorry, crushed Kyle. me. Sorry, Kyle. Professor Heichel. Oh, that's an edit. That's sorry, an edit, Kyle. Paul. Just so you know. Do I have to edit that? You have to edit that. Do I really? That was someone's name. We edit names on this podcast. I didn't even say it right though. Yeah, but Elliot straight oh, up I just said. straight said. <laughs> well, it was sandwiched with my fake name, so. Okay, All right. Sounds good. Recognizing <laughs> time. I can't read the screen because I'm not wearing my glasses. It's, it's 2602, which Classic to our listeners Levi. is going to be like 28. Are you ready for this, Paul? Yeah. Boop. Just in case you want to use just that. Just in case I want to use that. Okay. Yep. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, That's kind of fun. Uh, yeah. We had the same. People won't know this if this is a name or not, but we were in sharp calculus. Yep. Yep. Oh, I understand. Yep. Yeah, we were in sharp calculus together, and what do we do with our time during sharp calculus? We would uh, uh, study calculus, of course. <laughs> well, well, that's not fair. We'd really study math. Yeah. What 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 math did we do? Basic counting, algebra. What we, we do. Um, we added up to 15 a lot of times. And added up to 21 a lot. It's 31. The 31, sorry. Yeah, added to 31 added a lot Added to 31. Uh, we played cribbage. Cribbage. Oh, In, fr- in the front row. In the front row of class. In the front row of class. We're just shuffling cards in front of this professor. Are you kidding me? No. Did she like you? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, she never directly She never said anything about it. Right. Okay. All right. I did go into her offer office hours once and apologize. No. Oh, I went in to get help, and then she was on, like, "Like a problem? <laughs> uh, why and did you do that? <laughs> uh, because I wasn't paying attention in class, obviously, <laughs> and I needed help on this problem." Yeah, but when you're blatantly not paying attention, go to the TA. Don't go to her. I did usually go to the TA. Yep, he yeah. was cool. I, I had one. Yeah, I had two c- cool TAs. They were both. Very tight. Well, I took that class three times, so I had two there two TAs and one of them the same time, and he was pretty good. Nice, <laughs> but I think like what ended up happening was like my TA's office hours were, um, like yanked or something. Yeah, they like they canceled the, for the week or something. Yeah, and I needed help with my homework, so I was and like, it's not like I could help you. Guess I gotta go in and talk to Sharp. Um, and I did that, and I went in, and you know, I didn't know if she like, like recognized me recognize me or yeah. you were in the front row playing. yeah <laughs> <laughs> but um went in and just tried not to make a big deal ab- about it just like ask her questions about this problem she goes hmm okay well why don't you pull up your notes on this question <laughs> <laughs> nice. and i go uh 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 yeah i think uh no i don't have it <laughs> <laughs> no notes. that's right I must have uh, missed class that day or something. Well, it says here in your attendance to your uh, your question of the morning that you got it correct, though. Uh, that rarely happened, to be <laughs> honest. <laughs> I had the wonderful... When I was in Calculus 1 with that same professor... 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock, 8 a.m. That's terrible. That's Gu- actually guess terrible. who went to that class five times? Was it you? It was, I went five... I went for the first day, syllabus day. Why? I went for I'm sorry, the Paul. three midterms why? and the final. But, like, why? <laughs> I had already taken calculus in high school, okay. and I had friends who would text me the code for the question. I would do it on my phone instead of on the little buzzer thing that they normally give you. So I would get attendance okay. every day, okay. and I would, go, I, would go to, I would go to discussion, and I would do the quizzes, and I would do the homework. 
All right. So it's not like All I right. didn't do anything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you pass the class? I got a like I think I got a ninety one. Dude, that's sick. That's good. And I'm, I lost the like the nine percent because of attendance. Because sometimes I just didn't wake up. I take all those whys back. Yeah, honestly. that's that's why. And then I thought I could do the same thing for Calc two, and I did not. That's college life for you, baby. Yeah, don't take eight a.m.s ever. Yeah, um, I don't. I although I will say, I would I would favorite? I had an alarm set for eight oh one because that's when our <laughs> friend would text me the code, and all I would get from it was from one or t- of two people. Yeah. Okay. And I would just get six numbers sent to me at like eight oh one, eight oh two. I would type them in my phone, and then I would go yeah. and I'd give my answer because I could see uh, on, on like the buzzer. The buzzer is like a little thing with just numbers on it and nothing else. Yeah. Absolute scam. By the Absolute way. Absolute scam. I hate it. It's garbage. It's like seventy dollars. Don't buy it. You can just use your phone. Um, and so I type in the thing for my phone. Do the like, and it would tell me the question, and it would show me the answers like of actually what they were. And it's just a multiple choice question. You got one point if you answered it. You got two points if you answered it correctly. Yep. There you um, go. And Which is a scam. That's the worst way to do attendance ever. I think so. Because yeah. you could lose 50% on attendance by just getting the thing wrong. And 50% of attendance is like 25% of your final grade. For math and For sciences? The, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's like, why would you have this so you could just bl- die immediately? For you any, could get like, ganked. Like, you could do all the homework. You could yeah. get a 10 on every quiz. Yep. You could do get, like, an A or better on every final. And if you g- missed every single attendance question, and if you got them all wrong, you could get an 85 just yep. straight off the bat. Which, for anybody in a non-math or science-related major, and you're in college... That seems rather strange because your own like your whole grade is probably just just on homework and like just what you do either speeches or papers or yeah for some reason STEM professors care about your attendance for some reason I don't know why probably Who because cares? anyways well they'll they'll teach you like a week's worth of right like high school work in a day well in like an hour I mean yeah. that and generally speaking like you, there's only one correct answer and so if you get that wrong you lose. X amount of points, which is very non. There's it's one. Like, cor- there's only one correct answer until you get to a certain level of STEM. Yeah, STEM. <laughs> bachelor's. It's the level past what we went STEM, to. Like majors are very. You, here's the path. That's how you do it. And then, and then you take like a master's in STEM, any STEM, and they're like, "Well, this is how you learned it." But there's you, actually like seven answers for this. How do you feel physics should work? Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean we don't know? Oh, there's negative momentum, so an object can move before uh, you move? Gravity doesn't exist. But gravity waves do. Because frick you, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> um, remember in 2015 when they detected gravity waves for the first time? I don't even really know you what a gravity se- wave is. You were a senior in high school when that happened. 15? Yeah. Yeah, I suppose I was. Er, oh, gosh. How old are you? I think you're only one year older than us. Yeah. Yeah. We graduated 17. 16, 17 is my freshman year. Yeah. So 15, 16. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, it was like fall Would of have 15. been my senior year. So yep. senior year. Um, did your physics professor ever tell you about those? Like the gravity waves that were detected? I actually did not take physics in high school. Really? Which is not the move if you're going to be If you're going to be an engineer, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> take physics. Worked out for you. Even if it's it algebra-based chem. I took chemistry. Or, uh, algebra-based physics. You took chemistry and that's it? Yeah, I took chemistry. You that should. was my science credit for high school because I wanted, you know, like we didn't have a lot of extra slots. And physics is curriculum. applied math. Mm-hmm. Chemistry is applied physics. Biology is af- applied chemistry. Medicine is applied biology, uh, and like uh, surgery is applied medicine. If you know physics, you're better than everyone. No, not really. Got him. It's too easy. It's too. <laughs> Did you know that? That's how the like the scale of things work. You just go further and further down. And then, like, math is, like, top tier of, like, the, how the universe works. But it's in a, such a dumb language that no one should ever learn it because it's bad. Because math, like, yeah. math in college is okay. It's not great. I mean, clearly I did I did something wrong because I took Calc 2 three times. It's uh, one of, like, as a concept, like, integrating I took a is year and a half of Calc 2. <laughs> Straight. Yeah, I would wake up every day for a year and a half and just go. Well, it's time to go to Calc two again. <laughs> Did <you laughs> it's like Groundhog's Day, and it was the worst Groundhog's Day I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> from half from my second semester freshman year until my second semester sophomore year, I took Calc two every day. 
That's a lot of calc. That's so much calc, too. You know what I can do now? I can do disks. I can do washers. I can do all that sort of stuff of integrated calculus. I can do all that sort of crap. Which is good. Yeah, you know what I can't do? What can't you do? What's one plus three? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Give me my Integrate graphing it. calculator. I don't know. I don't think you can do that. Integrate it. Do it. I can tell you what numbers add up to 15. Which numbers? Well. Isn't that just x plus 3x? No. If you integrate it? I can. Uh, well, the you can have an 8 card and a 7 card or an 8 card and a 4 card and a 3 card. <laughs> you can have an 8 card, a uh, 5 card, and a 2 card. You have an 8 card. Really, the possibilities are nearly endless. But in a more real sense, they are technically endless. very limited. Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, anyway. Have um. Well, the the cool thing is is that the all the face cards, so the jack, uh, the queen, and the king, they're all yep. worth ten points, and and the the card with the ten on it, that's worth ten points. And um, so all you have to do is get many, those cards. Hey, and get a five. Hey, Elliot, Elliot, remember that one time when I I had all four fives and then flipped a jack? Okay, that's nuts. I don't remember that. That's you don't remember that? Nuts. Was that with me? That was with, against I you. I thought I thought I would have remembered that. Yeah, that's straight nuts. I've done it twice in my life. That's the highest scoring hand, isn't it? it yeah, it is by a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's straight even. nuts. Yeah. Um, what is that? Twelve points for four of a kind. It's like thirty-one. <clears throat> it's like thirty-one points. Thirty-one points total. Yeah, I think so. Because twenty-nine is generally the highest, unless you get knocks or knobs, yeah. because then it's thirty-one. No, that's a lot more than 31 points. Is it? It is. You're right. You're right. You're right. Because you get 15 four times, and then Six. each three fives gives you yeah, another, gives another 15. 15. Yep. So that's And then each five with the jack gives you another 15. But yep. And uh, then you have the four of a kind, and you're just straight booling and all that And cash. then you get a plus two. Exactly. Yeah. But then your crib is garbage because <laughs> there's nothing in it. But, like, you don't need Probably the Probably two more fives at least. <laughs> <laughs> when you... When I play, there's like seven fives showing. <laughs> when you're dealing and you throw the other two fives that you have into your crib. I did that once to somebody and they were not happy. <laughs> uh, not to say that I cheated when I did that the four or fives thing. Mm -hmm. But like when you play against someone that's like a good friend of yours and you know they can take a joke. Yeah. You just throw in extra cards. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like get the aces like up that's your funny. Sleeve and you know what's also really funny? <laughs> yeah. So I ha in high school I I I had a rival, not really, not really a rival, mm -hmm. just someone that I was technically friends with, but also didn't like. Oh yeah, I've had those. Yeah, and Tony. so but <laughs> <laughs> anyway, oh, this gosh. guy, this guy, <laughs> he might actually he, do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he might get mad. I don't know what time it's at, so I don't really care. Get mad at him. T-bone. I mean, that wasn't in the request, blurping. Yeah, only. Oh, no. Tony should know, straight up. I think <laughs> we've talked about this directly. About before. how you hate him? No. Oh, well, it was <laughs> probably just for like the first two years of of our relationship together where we had this like sort of frenemy thing going on. And I feel like we've definitely talked about it before because since then he became um, my shepherd in in the campus ministry organization yeah okay yeah. and and then we've kind of become friends hopefully i was at his wedding i mean i wasn't in his wedding thanks, yeah tony yeah <laughs> i mean well he, anyway so are you gonna be okay no <laughs> that's why we're moving on uh there we so go so we're moving backwards right two steps your forward. enemy one step forwards two steps back so not enemy but like he was a try hard and I would just like not try and then get the same results. And so he didn't like that. Um, but also like at some things I would like try to do my best and then he would also do nothing and then we get the same results. So it's like a whole like we had a back and forth. Of, yeah. There's like a push and pull. Yeah. It's like a push and pull. Like if I if he was not, that my, was not my fault. if he was not in my grade and not in every class I had, uh, I probably would not have done as well in high school yeah. because I wouldn't have had someone to push me like that. Same thing for probably for him. Um, but that being said, when I did have a class without a minute, I was very happy. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is my reprieve. Yeah, no, it's like my one break of the day. <laughs> uh, but we were doing AP statistics together, which was my hardest class I've ever taken. And I've taken calc three times. Calc two, three times. I've taken calc two, three times. What's the math on that? 
I don't know. That's, that's a lot of freaking times. Six calc. That's a lot of freaking times. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of that's six six calcs right there. Six regular <laughs> calcs. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, and we were trying to do like it was like the last bit of the year. AP exam had already been taken. Who cares? Like whatever. We're just hanging out until we graduate. Yeah, you know. and I brought in Peruto. Peruto is also called Liar's Dice. It's also the, oh, okay. it's the game they play in Pirates yep. of the Caribbean two. Oh, it's that dice game. Yeah, and so uh, this is gonna put me out as the biggest cheater in the world. <laughs> I am impossibly good at turning dice without them making a sound after I've already looked at them and making them appear to be whatever I want them to be. I can do it while you're looking at me and you will not know that I did it. Um, nice. And so that's nice. He, my, my rival swore that I was cheating, which of course I was. <laughs> <laughs> However, he could not prove it. <laughs> he spent like three weeks because we, we liars dice with you. playing. Yeah. Playing Peruto with me. Just trying to figure out how I was cheating because <laughs> I would win like 98% of the time. Like, yeah. because we'd just do like, we had a tally and it was just all me <laughs> and like two to him. <laughs> and he would just swear up and down, like, he's cheating. I know he's cheating. But I, and then my, my math teacher would be like, okay, how? <laughs> and it's like, so my math teacher, you know, being yeah. d- playing devil's advocate, not like, oh, you shouldn't accuse someone of cheating. Just like, okay, prove it. Prove that he's cheating. Yeah. He could not. That's ridiculous. No way. There's no way he could prove it. It was great. It was the best time I've ever... It was the most fun <laughs> I had in high school. Oh, my gosh. Was just while this guy was glaring at me, going like, you're cheating. I know you're cheating. And it would be like... He would have people like walk past and say, oh, he's got like two fives, a three, and two ones. Because he rolled five dice or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then I would change them. And then he would go, no, you're cheating, every time I lift up the cup. And then I would lift up the cup after I'd already flipped them. And as I would lift up the cup, I would flip them back to what they were. And he'd go. (laughs) (laughs) But it's like. Nice. That's the the best at hustling I've ever gotten in my life. (laughs) Are you still that good? Uh, Probably not. I could probably get away with it. Just not to that degree. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I could probably do it again, though. Um, Dude. It was. The best thing I've ever done. <laughs> Just like that guy's life ground to a halt in high school, <laughs> my life is also currently ground to a complete halt. Yeah. So, have any of you experienced one of your cards expiring? Like your, your debit cards? Yeah. Like yes. One of your like credit I, debit cards. I had that happen when I had seven dollars in my wallet, and it was the only card I had. That's nuts. Yeah. Anyway, what was your experience? Well, so. And I did it when I was at the gas station with like forty dollars in my tank. Oh, <laughs> that's rough. That's really rough. Yeah, I mean, like, dude, how do you even preface this? So, as you know, a previous child, my parents' address was my address for a long time. Oh slash yeah, even all throughout college, and mm-hmm. even still now for a lot of things. And so, lo and behold, my bank sent my debit card to my parents' house. Oh no. Um. Which is you know, not close. Probably like, uh, like, literally two days after they had just gotten back from, like they left to come up here to Duluth to move my brother in. Yeah. Well, but that's a that's a pretty so, slip right there. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> Don't so, worry. Long time listeners on the show know where we are. Exactly. And so they were moving my brother in. Um, and so they were up for the weekend. It was kind of sick, you know. And then they went back home, and they're like, oh, lol, your debit card's here. And I'm like, sweet, <laughs> I need that thing. And it's August 28th, and it expires in three days. Um, card expires, moving about my day. You know, I thought it wasn't going to be super serious. I could really wait out the storm. And then I go down to the cities for a weekend of going to both the State Fair and Valley Fair <laughs> and realized I don't have Venmo anymore, so I can't yep, pay Yep, because it's linked to your card, not your bank account. I also... Uh, just the most ink. I just can't. Like, I feel like I'm bumming everything. Yeah, because like, you're like, I'm, I'm sorry, up, I, I don't can't have buy money. food. I don't <laughs> have money. I yeah. don't have money. Hey, I'll pay for gas with my credit card, I guess, because can you shoot me like a 20 or something from your account? Yeah. 
Yeah, that's just how I was like in like this state of just deep bargaining for my whole existence yeah. the whole yeah. weekend. <laughs> that's I, why, because I didn't why. have money, but I had I have money. That's why I now have one hundred dollars in cash on me at all times. <laughs> well, I, because I, don't I know, have man. experienced that, because, <laughs> and it's garbage. But um, this should American, never happen. It should never happen. Should mail it to my regular house, and they know your regular house because you tell them, and <laughs> then they do. don't mail it. To <laughs> I know. Listen, I think you guys are a bunch of suckers. Yeah. Even, even <laughs> I can't wait to see how this one American goes. American paper Our third money. Lawyer is shaking his even head. American paper money has expiration date. We just don't know it yet. That's why I pay for everything in pure gold flakes. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> you little scale like a Every, drug dealer. Yeah. <laughs> Everywhere I go, I pull that scale out. I measure it out. Just because you Just write legal tender you know, on the on the vial <laughs> does not mean it's legal tender. <laughs> it is, and it should be accepted everywhere. I mean, they should accept. Right. Honestly, gold. I would love honestly. to get paid in gold. <laughs> I would love to get paid in gold. Or crypto, honestly. No. Well. Not not now. You'd have to pull it out immediately. <laughs> is it still tanking It's really still hard? tanking pretty bad. That's rough. Yeah. Sorry, bud. You'd lose everything. You know what never tanks? Gold. Jesus. Gold. False. And Jesus. Yeah, gold Jesus tanks also doesn't tank. You know what? Never tank. You couldn't build you know a what, tank you know out of gold. You could, but it would be s- garbage. It'd uh, be tight. It'd be, right. <laughs> let's be honest. It'd be very it'd heavy be and it would protect you from nothing. Nobody, <laughs> yeah. nobody would shoot a golden tank. I would shoot a golden gold. tank. No, just, <laughs> see <if it> work. <laughs> you just to see you how could fast see I could a uh, golden tank roll right. up on the battlefield. Listen, if I saw like, a, oh, only if on the battlefield, all I saw. If all I saw was just a single golden tank crawling yeah. past, I'd go, that's a stupid place for a dictator to be. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> and i just shoot at it until the tank stopped moving. No. Because it's a golden tank. No. And even if it's gold-plated, I'm still going to try my best to shoot the dictator that's in I it. Don't, I don't think you're fully comprehending, fully comprehending what you're going to be seeing here. It's you, just, all you said, all it's you said was a, a gold tank. A, Baller move, all right. What does it have and spinners on when it? You, on when the, you when you tread, when you think about it in your mind, you can't comprehend because your mind is little and tank is big. Okay, yeah, um, big golden tank. I'm I, talking size of this entire recording studio. Just oh wow, gold. three feet so by like five a, feet, like a regular <laughs> size. Tank? I'm saying this recording studio here. <clears throat> yes, a regular size tank made entirely out of gold. For all of you, you know we record around a coffee table, right? <laughs> baller. Yeah, I the, actually can't wait until we get some real mics, and well, like we have good mics now on loan. Um, we have, let's say, let's see, we own four out of the seven things we need actually. Sure. To really record this the way we want to, uh, but every penny does help us. If you go to patreoncom slash Lake City Variety, uh, Lake City Variety, a dollar. Gets you access to. We'll have uh, at the end of this recording, uh, by the time this is up, five bonus episodes up. You can uh, listen to all of them. You can listen to all of them. Although maybe not listen to the one that we recorded while making Twitter accounts. That one's actually my favorite one. So is it actually your favorite one? It's kind of funny. We did. There's only like there's only weird silence like three times in it. Okay, that's yeah. fair enough. Because the rest of it is just us See, going like. I don't like that one. You've never listened to it. I'm not in it. Listen. We hired you yeah. so you could praise us. Okay. Clearly, you're expendable. Um, I would like to apologize formally. This is step one of my five-part apology. Um, I've said some regrettable if you're things not doing, within the last 30 seconds. If you're not seconds. doing... I would like to uh, announce my appreciation for both of my bosses here. You have never done anything wrong, and, and you never will. Thank you, writers, part for two, saying that. Part two of the apology is to follow. My also, poop is coming. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? I take all that back. You are not <laughs> getting an apology from me. That is going on a podcast that I am appearing on. Dude. <laughs> Fiery. <laughs> um, what were you even talking about before this? That's a good question. Uh, oh yeah, our Patreon, patreon.com slash Lake City Variety. Oh yeah. A dollar gets you more of this goodness right here. Um, it's pretty goodness. We have been recognized, well everyone except for the new Elliot has been recognized on the street 
Um, because if you go on our Patreon, there's a photo of us. There is? There is a photo. It's a behind a paywall. You're fine. Who approved this? You did. No, I didn't. You were in that picture. This contract says... Boo! Boo! On it. That's not me. Okay. Boo! Boo! <laughs> All right, that's a lot of. That's two wow. episodes in a row, boys. That's You're that's really that's trying that's to dox me out here. <laughs> wow. When I joked earlier about you might accidentally say my social security number, <laughs> where we might in one of these episodes. Oh, shoot, let me just write down on notes where to timestamp that is. Wait, also forty nine. Also with the other name too. Uh, no, I don't know what that other one is. That's it gone. was like around twenty six. Don't worry about it. Oh, poor Kyle. Poor Kyle. Who cares about Kyle? I mean, I do. Pearl. Which Kyle? I'm not going to say his last name. Don't say his last name. Describe him. Uh, Like tall. Civil engineer. Also civil engineer. Oh. Blonde. Married to Pearl. Yeah. Married to Pearl. Okay. Okay. We I thought you were talking about the other Dr. Kyle that Pearl lived in the house that you oh, live no. in now. Because I, I didn't like that Kyle. Big okay. fan. Big fan of the Kyle that you guys were talking about. Yeah. yeah we, I actually really we said like his full name guy. on the podcast. Did you actually say his full name? Yeah, Elliot. You said his full Elliot's name. Elliot's yeah, I thought you just said his first name. No, and that's why I was like, it's fine. He said his full name. No, I said his full name, which, which is, is why name. we said we will need to bleep that. <laughs> I don't. I don't remember where it is. It said it's, it's like around twenty six minutes. Twenty six minutes. You know what? He doesn't listen. To this. We're talking it's about fine. chemistry. You remember where I said boop or before? Yeah, we've said boop a lot. Okay. No, this is that was the third time. To be fair, Levi, you really like saying boop. Yeah. Boop with the jeans and boop with yeah, the Yeah, you're just going to have to remove this part. Paul. <laughs> I'm just going to cut it. It's going to be a 50-minute long boop. episode and not a 51-minute <laughs> long episode. Boop, boop, My poop is boop really coming. Boop hit the floor. So, um, yeah. <laughs> boop hit the floor. <laughs> that almost sounds worse. <laughs> <laughs> Apple bottom jeans. Boobs, Boobs with, with the, the fur. <laughs> with the fur. <laughs> the girls looking at her. I like to um, make sure that the audience listeners know that we're saying boop. As in B O O P. Okay, poop isn't that bad. Come we on. Are, I'm not. I'm not <laughs> concerned about poop with the fur. I'm concerned <laughs> people are gonna think that we're saying boob with the fur. Oh yeah. Speaking yeah, of poop with the fur, that. you guys remember owl pellets in middle school? Okay, I'm gonna go now. This is what's what an great, owl pellet. What is wait? An owl? What you guys have never heard of these things? No. What's right. an owl pellet? An owl pellet. So I think I have an idea. So, so owls can't digest bones and fur and feathers and crap. Yep. Oh, and I so they throw them about. up as like a just a pellet of like condensed I don't creature. Know. Why did you have, why collect did we these as a child? Did you guys did you guys not dissect them in school? No, no we never. What? Did. Maybe we did. I don't know why I remember we, that. Though. I, I I distinctly remember one of my sixth grade school projects was with one partner pull apart like five owl pellets and reassemble a rat. From the skeleton inside these things. That's insane. You went to a crazy That's school actually for really crazy cool. people. You know what? I, I, and I thought, wow, everyone did this. And then I was I was watching Dirty Jobs last week. And there was a guy whose entire living was just on collecting owl pellets to, set, to sell to school districts for dissection. Nice. And he's like, yeah, like most students do this in like fifth to seventh grade. And then some people do it in college if they, you know, go into like ornithology or things like that. Yeah. Mm. And it's like... Yeah, perfect. I, I'm not crazy. This is like a thing that people did. And then no, you guys saying that, that you guys never but did that? I don't that? think no. we ever did. That's, no, no, come on. You had to. I'm 100% positive that my come school on. never did that. <sighs> we didn't dissect maybe. anything in my school. Wait, you didn't even dissect frogs? Oh, uh, no, we did a worm. I did, I did a worm. They have seven hearts. Because I did. That's pretty cool. I did. You didn't even know hearts? that. You dissected one. Uh, yeah. I did frog gross. and deer heart. Those are the only two I'm remembering. Frog, cow heart. Okay. Fish. Worm. My dad at the school, he went to the school like just north of the one I went to. He dissected fetal pigs and cats in I high school. Might have dissected pigs. Was this as like no, part of his curriculum? Yeah, this curriculum? is part of like or they would just, just get like a bag of like formaldehyde filled uh, fetal pigs uh. and then a bag of dead cats. And they would go, all right, pack your partner. You're dissecting cats today. How do you get a Dude, bag of dead cats? You can just order them from a catalog. Oh, gosh. A catalog? That's that's a nice that's slapper really right there. Creepy. <laughs> All right. Are you kidding me? He just said this cat seems... a log. That's a knee slapper. Catalog. You order yeah. a bag of dead cats from a catalog. From, from a, a catalog. catalog. Thank you. 
cats for dissection. I have obvi- I am obviously in you can buy you can buy to distress right now. Eight fetal pigs with all the tools you need from Home Science Catalog for two hundred and sixty dollars. That's a bargain, honestly. But probably you can buy. You could. You can throw buy, those thing all all around your car. Get that clean for three hundred dollars. <laughs> I love the that's way, an experience. All right, biology nice. product dot whatever, eighteen inch to twenty three inch plain cat forty one dollars. Nice forty one dollars. <laughs> Boy, Not you can bad. just go to the shelter and adopt one for free. How to talk to your cat about gun safety? Thirteen ninety five. What? Fourteen inch to eighteen inch plain skinned cat. Well, now we're just product. going. Yo. We're just going back to cat skins wow. after that book. Go to skinned cat. <laughs> Look at that book, please. I don't want to. <laughs> how to I'll teach your talk how, to your how cat. is my feline? A companion. Oh, oh to know you can buy trigger. a You can buy a bag of snakes, fourteen inches to eighteen inches long, plain discipline. garter snakes. Trigger discipline is what I was trying to say. For yeah. for eight eight thirty a piece. Can you buy eyeballs? Rated five. It's rated five stars. Can you yeah. buy like a jar of eyeballs? Yes, you can. Yeah, I got a guy down in Mexico. You can get as many eyeballs <laughs> no, as you want. <laughs> Actually, I got a. I have a. You, I have friend. I have a friend whose dad is a veterinarian, and they could just get as, as many cow eyes as you want. How many? Eyes does twenty pesos get me from that guy? Twenty pesos, skills. yeah. Twenty eyes. Well, no, hold on. <laughs> it's not like it's that common. Twenty pesos that's worth about one. There's dollar. a menu. That's really funny yeah, that like there's a, a menu. <laughs> it's, it's, like a, it's like a dollar. Well, I don't know. I the last time I was down in Mexico. Uh, preserves owl pellets and etc. Owl pellets etc. <laughs> on biology products. Paul, stop trying to justify your weird Look, childhood. It's a bone keeper. That's just a ketchup packet thing. <laughs> um, owl pellets and you. The dissection reference guide. I want that book honestly. We're not science teachers for like sixth grade. I am. Like I'm kids. gonna buy for the bonus episode. So, the uh, first, yeah, tune the in first next video week bonus episode is gonna be me dissecting owl pellets while you guys cower in the corner. I'm not gonna yeah. cower. It'll be. I'll sick. cower. <laughs> But like, Can we and I'll be sick. Let's dissect fetal pigs. No, that's not what let's, I mean let's when each, I say sick. <laughs> let's each get a fetal pig to dissect for a bonus episode. This sounds horrible. I love this idea. Let's I will g- not be contributing money. I want to go to biologyproduct.com and I want to use our Patreon money, patreon.com slash Lake City Variety. That's right. You can go there now. And I don't think anyone wants pig. to see this. I think I think there our are first, people that want to see this. Our new first Goal is forty one dollars. Is forty one dollars plus shipping and handling. Plus shipping and handling for a fetal pig that we. No, can for his, that's for a skinned cat, eighteen to twenty four inches long. Wait, what? How much is the pig? I think the pigs only come in a set of eight. But let me check. I don't want to buy eight pigs. I, can we just <laughs> get the cat? Hey, just think of the leftover bacon, buddy. That they're freaking in formaldehyde. You can buy pig eyes a dollar twenty a piece. Off. This isn't like Ludafisk. Ludafisk. Pig- Pig eyes in formaldehyde, a dollar twenty nine a piece. That's kind of gross. Oh hey, there's actually pictures of it on there. So he like twenty pesos. Pig in a box. Like okay, eye? okay. A pig in a box is thirty one dollars and five cents. It's a pig in a box. Add it to cart. Um, proceed to checkout. Don't buy this pig. I'm right gonna now. buy the pig in a Don't cart. Don't buy the pig right now. Right, just check out his guest. Continue. Oh god. All right, my email We're getting address. Into some real ethical problems here. This. I what don't do you, even what know. do you mean? I I have a minor in biology. Don't worry about it. Well, no, it's not this. I'm completely fine with this. It's just like... Wait, what is our ethical problem right now? Or, yeah, what is our ethical problem right the now? The last person that had an ethical problem with this podcast... Didn't come back yeah, to this and I, would, I can neither confirm nor deny I any allegations I think that's the main about. ethical problem that <laughs> we're all kind of talking about right now. All okay, right. That's fair enough. Our company name is Lake City Variety. Our phone number is... United States. States of America. Bell bottom jeans. Okay. Boots with the I'm just fur. trying to figure out how much shipping is. So apple bottom jeans. I, I, I don't did know. Did I what not say apple bottom jeans? You said bell bottom jeans. You said bell bottom jeans. Well, that is that is a an thing? F in the chat. I believe so. Is that not? I'm gonna go look it up. How much? How much is bell bottom jeans? I don't know. Well, how much right is now we only have in the budget enough for a pig in a box or bell bottom jeans. Okay. One or the other. They okay, it's both. fourteen dollars for shipping. They'll UPS ground it to See, us. What's the this. total? Bell bottom jeans. Look at that. Literally just. Yeah, bell bottom jeans exist, but 
That's no apple bottom jeans are also a thing. They're apple the ones that make your butt look fantastic. Also, early two thousands low rise apple bottom jeans. Yeah, make Boots those with the fur. No. <laughs> anyway, for, men. for f- if you give us forty five dollars and five cents, we will order Buy a fetal bottom pig. jeans. No, a fetal pig. <laughs> Boots with the fur. With the fur. <laughs> the whole room's looking at the whole club is Lake looking City at. Variety. Hey. Hey, we did it. We did it. We did it. That's an Lake hour. City anyway, $41.05. If you go to our Patreon, patreon.com slash Lake City Variety, you donate that dollar or more if you feel like it because there is stuff. I promise I will make the new Elliot dissect a pig oh on camera. Gosh. For this. I will do it. I'll also help. Yeah. You guys are just going to pay the money to make me do this. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> Well, I promise I will not contribute a cent to this. Our pay. listeners will contribute to this. If you donate the forty, the the forty one dollars and or no, the forty six dollars and five cents. Is that with shipping too? That's with shipping. Fifteen dollars nice. for shipping. Okay, what nice. am I going to get out of this Wait, situation? Did you say our zip code out loud? No. Why would I say that out loud? Okay, great. I said our company name. And that's it. Nice. But yeah, it's, it's fourteen dollars to ship it. It's thirty one dollars and five cents. I don't know where that five cents is for. But who knows? Inflation. Yeah, okay. Anyway, so $46.05 on our Patreon. If you donate that to us, we will make Elliot, the new Elliot, dissect a fetal pig. Slash it, the old Elliot. It comes with a manual and... Slash, you make him dissect the old Elliot? Oh, no. no. <laughs> the old Elliot is not dead. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> no, please. We'll make Elliot dissect We'll make Elliot himself. 3 dissect Elliot 1. Um, All right. Anyway, this has been... It's $50 for that, though. It's it's $150 yeah. for that. $150. And he'll dissect and the I get the $150. Uh, you can dissect me. That's right. For his rent. Yep. For his rent. Actually, for my freezer space down there. there you go. I would love to accidentally order this fetal pig. And then have to tell, and then have to put it in the freezer downstairs. And then my wife goes down to go get like a hot pocket, <laughs> and, then and then just for screams, a fetal pig, <laughs> excuse me, a fetal freezer. pig in a bag, slash the slasher mask that you keep. I don't have one of those. And the bodies. Well, the bodies are hanging downstairs, so okay. don't go down there. That's right.